who lives in a pineapple under the sea. Sponge boob circle nipples. Wait, wait a minute. That's not right. SpongeBob has square nipples. It's a conspiracy. Oh my god! You agree with me, right, Barnacle Boy? Please, Mermaid Man. Dirt bubble. Oh boy. Hey guys, I'm Nerus and welcome back to another mod review. This is the Spongebob mod who lives in a pineapple under the sea. Sponge boobs circle nipples. Now, 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 this is a cool mod. It has a lot of mobs. Mobs, I would say, are the primary kind of, um, what would you call it? Like, thing, thick, the, the primary thing for this mod it's kind of like the main thing about the mod is the mobs all the different mobs there's a lot of different mobs but that's really cool but before we do anything with them we're gonna really quickly check out these items down here so we're gonna check these out these five different items which are really cool now I've got the recipes here you can actually make these items so we have the Krabby Patty the KK Kelps the Krabby Patty secret formula the spatula, which does plus 14 attack damage, and the golden spatula, which does 23 attack damage. Now, that is a buttload of attack damage. So is that. That's double a diamond sword, and I'm pretty sure um, if my math is not correct, it's it's just over triple a freaking diamond sword. So that's, that's pretty powerful. It's pretty powerful. Now, to make these items, to make the burger, you can simply put the Krabby Patty special formula into a crafting bench, like so, in the 3x3 area, and it will give you a Krabby Patty, obviously, like I just said, because it's the Krabby Patty secret formula. And now, there is another way of making it. You can put bread, and then a steak, and then a bread, like that, and I'm pretty sure it can go on any row, as long as it's in that order going down any row, and it will make another Krabby Patty, so that's nice. I don't know if we can eat them, I'm not sure, I haven't tried it. I'm going to create a survival mode soon. And now, to do, to make this, to make the beautiful KK Kelps, you make a trap door, a cocoa, are they called cocoa beans? Cocoa beans, yes, cocoa beans, and then a bucket of water on the bottom, and you do all three of them, and you get one of them bad boys, one of them right there. And then to make the spatula, it's simply one piece of I think it has to be black wool, but I'm not too sure. It could be uh, any other type of wool. I'm not too sure on that, guys. You're going to have to try it for yourselves if you'd like to try that out. And two pieces of stone going up, and that will make the 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 spatula. I can't get my words out tonight. Jeez, I can't get my freaking words out. And now if we go in here and give ourselves some, if I can actually find what I'm looking for, some coal. There we go. Now, if you put the spatula inside of a furnace and then cook it, you pretty quickly you will be able to almost double its attack damage simply by cooking it like any other piece of raw thing and you will get a golden spatula which you can use to fight off all the mobs or maybe even maybe even you can team up with mermaid man and barnacle boy to beat man ray or whatever the, whatever the heck he's called i don't know but we've been through them we've been through all them so let's get rid of these and we'll just keep that in our hot bar right there now let's check out the mobs. Let's go on to the mob. We'll save Spongebob and Patrick for the final two since they're kind of like the two main characters. Actually Squidward and Sandy too. We'll keep them four for the final for the final four mobs that we check out. Now let's just get all of these like this. It doesn't matter what order. Let's just get them all. Alright then. So let's check them out. So we'll start off with the Dirty Bubble. Now, I don't know if you guys have ever watched Spongebob or anything, but the Dirty Bubble is kind of like this evil guy who, I think, sucks someone up into it. I can't quite remember, but that, <laughs> this is the Purple Bubble in this mod, apparently. Where's his face? Come here. Let me see your face. Stay still. Stay still. There. <laughs> That's his face. He's got a pretty evil face. He's pretty evil. I don't think he flies. Do you fly? Oh, no, you just fall to the floor. <laughs> Alright then, so that's the Dirty Bubble, as you can see, he's pretty majestic walking around. Now this is Harold, I have no idea what Harold is. What do you do, Harold? Do you do anything? I don't think he speaks. <laughs> Let's just spawn a few different Harolds, because you know, the world can never have enough Harolds. That's what my granddaddy always used to say. Now let's spawn Gary, everybody knows who Gary is, the pet snail, the beautiful Gary himself. The very creepy, weirdly modelled Gary. 
But let's spawn a couple of him in so he can have some people to play with, you know. He can have his playmates. Let's let's hit him once with Oh my, he died instantly. We get a lot of XP though. We get a lot of XP from this super powerful weapon. I don't know if that's durability since I'm in creative mode, but we can check that out when we go into survival mode. So what's the next one? Uh, that's Gary. We can spawn in fish two and fish. No, wait, where's fish one? Fish one and fish two. So let's spawn in fish one. So <laughs> there's fish one, and then here is fish two. <laughs> Pretty cool, nerdy little fish guys. <laughs> I think they're modeled after characters from the TV show. I'm not too sure. You can go check it out for yourselves if you want to. You can go and look it up if they are actually modeled from characters from the show. What are you doing, boy? Oh no, he drops fish as well. They drop raw fish. This is the worst. Now next up is the seahorse that we all know and love, even though he doesn't really look like. Can we ride him? Come here, seahorse. Seahorse. No, oh, we can't ride him. It would be. It's a shame. We should be able to ride him. Mod people, guys, who made the mod. If you can freaking make it so we can ride the seahorse, do that. And make it so we can ride Gary too. Where's Gary? Can we ride you? Are you sure we can't ride? No, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to hit you. Gary, I'm so sorry. Okay, we can't ride Gary. We can't ride him, unfortunately. Next up is Squillium, Squidward's arch nemesis with the majestic eyebrow. We'll just bring all these down into here for now. Okay, so Squillium is up next. And as you can see, he's got a pretty majestic unibrow going on. He's kind of just like a villager. <coughs> with proper feet. He hasn't really got like a, a robe or anything. So that's pretty cool. He looks very strange. Not quite what I expected. <laughs> Look at him with his stupid smile. <laughs> You're so stupid! What's next? Ooh, Man Ray. Let's spawn in Man Ray. So this is Man Ray, the evil Man Ray himself. He probably has quite a bit of HP. I was gonna say XP then. I was like, no, he didn't have XP. But he is the majestic Man Ray who can freeze and stuff. I don't know. Next is Karen, Plankton's, you know, Ka Plankton's side bay, Karen. So this is Karen, Plankton's side bay. She does everything for him. He's married to a computer. Yes, he is married to a computer. Now here's Plankton, little Plankton, one-eyed Plankton. Kind of weird. He doesn't really... Do his legs move when they walk? Do they... Are you going to move? No, his legs... Do he hovers along the floor. He just glides. That's creepy. Let's spot in Tom. Let's... Oh, this is, <laughs> is this the guy who's like who wants to buy chocolate from him? Is he the guy who wants to buy chocolate from SpongeBob? And he's like, "Where's the chocolate?" I don't know. I'm just kind of mumbling now. Mr. Krabs, let's go. Let's check out Mr. Krabs. Oh, come on! He's just a no. They could have made a custom texture for him. That would look so funny. Oh well, he looks pretty good. He looks happy the way he is. Look at him. He's got a little smile. He looks happy. Let's spawn in Mermaid Man and Barnacle Boy. So that's oh no, he doesn't look old. Mermaid Man is old and fat. Barnacle Boy looks pretty pretty amazing in his little speedos and his and his sailor hat and his sailor scarf and his oven gloves. You, you're having fun. You're having fun, Barnacle Boy, with your weird nose, with your freaking stuff. Mermaid Man with his bikini top. Oh, it's great. It's great, and I'm yawning already because it's definitely not four o'clock in the morning. Don't judge me. Don't judge me. Okay, so let's go to. Game mode, zero, and let's try out, let's try out the, the golden spatula on a few of the mobs. So we kill Plankton, and we will get the Krabby Pie secret formula. What happens if we kill Mermaid Man? We will just get leather pants. What what happens if we kill this guy? We get fish. We Do we get a fish from this guy? Yep, what happens if we kill Karen? Oh, Karen has a lot of health. Jeez, she drops it too. Now where is, oh, we haven't spawned SpongeBob yet. Let's go do that. Barnacle Boy, die. You drop a diamond, freaking diamond helmet. Okay, we're wearing that. We're going to keep that. What do you drop? Do you drop money or gold or something? Oh, they should have made it so he drops gold. Okay, let's jump up here. Now, we can test out the final four of the mobs left in the mod, which is Sandy, Squidward, Patrick, and, you know, you know, it's your boy Spongebob. All right, let's do Sandy first. Let's do Sandy first since she's probably the least popular out of the four that we have. So this is what Sandy looks like. Custom model, obviously. We kill her and all we get is some leather panties. So we're wearing Sandy's leather pants. We're wearing Barnacle Boy's diamond helmet now. So let's spawn in Squidward. Let's see what he looks like. Oh, he looks... Oh, yay! Ah! Ah! He looks like Squillium, obviously, but without the monobrow and the really freaking weird costume. He just looks like good old Squidward. What do we get? We get... We get a cooked pork chop if we kill Squidward. There we go. Okay, this just has durability. Not a lot though. Only a hundred, sadly. 
But, you know, they're not exactly difficult to make. You could just stock up on your iron. You could make, like, a wool farm or something, maybe. Not too sure. But, you know, this would be a really cool mod for a survival series or something. It'd be really funny to have. Just, you know, a funny little mod to have. It didn't really do much. Apart from the friggin' OP as hell golden spatula right there. Now, Patrick. Let's do it. Patrick, we gotta do the countdown to number one, Spongebob. Now, Patrick, what's... What? <laughs> His legs don't even move. <laughs> what the heck? He looks so derpy. What do we get if we kill We get a bowl. We get a bowl if we kill him. So, let's just do time set zero right here. There we go. Now... Spongebob finally we are finally going to get to see what Spongebob likes in the majestic Spongebob mod So let's do it. Mr. Krabs you freaking get down there. You're not getting any of my money Let's see what it looks like. So this is Spongebob. He's kind of giant <laughs> Very creepy. Oh stay away from me. Does he drop sponge if you kill him bread? Why does he drop bread? He's dropped sponge well I guess that's pretty cool. If you guys enjoyed the mod, I'm going to end it here. If you guys enjoyed the mod, then please do leave a like and a comment. Let's check out. Let's see if we can eat this. So let's do this. Can we eat it? Yes, we can. And it fills it. It fills up at least a, a heart and a half. Or a hunger and a half, I should say. But if you guys enjoyed, then please do leave a like and leave a comment. Don't forget to, I don't know, suggest some mods that you'd like to see me do a mod review on. Um, tell me what you think your favorite character from this awesome mod is. As you can see, we're in Sandy's dome right now. But if you would like to see more mods, then I don't know, leave a, leave a comment suggesting some mods that I could maybe make a review on. And I'll definitely look into them. If they look cool, I'll definitely check them out. And uh, I might even record a video on it. So if you guys enjoyed the video, I, I feel like I've said this three times. I'm just going to go now. So Chuck, if you don't mind, I'd really appreciate it if you could roll the outro. That would just be great. That would be great. Now. We have to do the barnacle, the the conch cell squeal thing. Oh, well, goodbye, guys.